<laughs> I'll be honest. Is that the prettiest little girl you ever saw? Honestly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, why shouldn't she be? Katie's mama and papa aren't such slouches in the looks department, huh? Good genes, huh? Yeah. So when are you and Tom gonna dip into the gene pool and have one of your own? Oh, what can I say? We're working on it. Well, you better hop to it, because Ly and I are gonna be... Wait, come on, Casey, it's okay. It's okay, Casey? Casey? Hey, Mom, that's Casey. He's very tired. So he insisted that we go home. Well, I think that's a good idea. Uh, well, why don't I give you a ride? Uh, all their stuff's still in my van. Oh, okay, thanks. Right. Are, are you gonna come home with us? Well, Tom said he was going to call me here at Memorial, so I guess I'll stop by later. Maybe I should stay. No, Mama, no. Casey needs you rested, so does Kate. And you know, you make Casey angry if he sees you running yourself ragged. Yeah, I guess. You call me if... I know, you don't even have to ask. Casey's having trouble breathing again. Dr. Purcell is on his way, but he wants to see you. Well, Marcia, if you do find out that Tom's on his way back, will you tell him that I am at Memorial? Thanks. Oh, uh, Mrs. Hughes. Hi, how's Casey? Uh, Casey's putting up such a fight, it's hard to get an accurate reading. But he, he can't deny the fact that his breathing's more labored now. We put him on IPPB respirator. No, no. Now, it sounds more ominous than it actually is. But I have ordered a full-scale automatic respirator to be standing by just in case. Well, let's hope we won't need it. I gotta call Mama. Now, maybe you'd better talk to him first. He insists on talking to you. Hi, hi. Katie, it's your daddy. I saw you on TV today. You were great. I really like the part where you waved and blew me kisses. And I caught every one. So I'm sending them back to you. Kisses and great big bear hugs. So when you look up in the sky and you see shooting star, that's a kiss from me. And when you wake up, from a good dream, feeling warm and safe. That's a bear hug from me. Okay? I love you very much. With all my heart. And I always will. Hey, Doris, how about Duke buying you a cup of coffee? Okay. I like lots of cream and sugar. Okay, you got it. I'll see you soon, then. Uh-huh. What's this for? Dr. Purcell ordered it. Uh, Doris, I'm gonna take a rain check on the cup of coffee, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get going with the chapel. I, 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 I want to add something. Okay. Here. This is, this is your big daddy <laughs> signing off. Good night, sweet princess. 
<sighs> no, no, something's gonna get worse. I need to talk to you while I can. No, Margot, I'm a, I'm a doctor. I, I need to, I know that as much about this as Purcell. <sighs> and I can feel it getting worse. <sighs> it's going the wrong way. My, my brain's not sending the right message to my lung. And the respirator won't work, work much longer. They'll put me on a big one. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be kept alive on a machine. Get Hadley, I need the living will. If anything happens, if I slip into a coma before it's set, ah. I don't want to be kept alive with no hope. I won't be a vegetable. Please. I'm counting on you. <laughs>